assalamu alaikum hello viewers how are you uh, so today we are going to learn about how to change uh, absorption data into transmitters data we have three uh, different samples and uh, the graphs are different so we are going to start it so please subscribe our channel so here uh, the first graph we have draw so you can see that the peak uh, firstly zoom it so you can see that the peaks values are absorbed but its direction is upwards which show that it's a absorbance data so we are going to change it into transmitters data and its direction will become to downwards so let's start so firstly so firstly uh, please add a column by using control d so you can see that uh, and select all you can see uh, you can write at f of x but you can uh, select all and set column values so here you can write the formula which is equal to 10 uh, multiplied by minus column of intensity which is the column of b uh, so and then uh, close the brackets and multiply by its 100 so you can see that uh, we have observed some new values so by using these new values we can calculate the uh, transmitter data sorry i forgot to write about the 100 so you can uh, write in write it in your formula while you are using so you can see that the peaks are uh, the peaks values are from uh, changing it from upwards to downwards so here zoom it and then you can see that its values becoming uh, downwards so you can see that but here is a problem so you can see that a long curve line is uh, sorry a long line is observed which is going to downwards so we are going to remove it and then select so here we uh, select the point where we want to remove it so it's a 631 so we are going to remove it from book so as i uh, press the button delete then you can see that the uh, card is deleted so here so i'm going to delete some more values and you can see it easily uh, yeah you can see that as I press the button uh, delete button so you can see that the uh, card data is going to remove yeah so so you can see that uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, noisy data so we are going to remove that noisy data by using smooth filter so you can check uh, this smooth filter process from our another video so here we are going to smooth open dialog and then choose the uh, adjacent value yeah so adjacent value uh, it is used to uh, make an average and then preview and select uh, points and then you can see that a new graph is observed at black one so firstly we uh, hide the previous one data and then we are going to change the uh, new data color from uh, red to black and then you can see that here is the new data so it is uh, much better from previous one because the previous one has uh, too much noisy data but this data has a uh, minimum amount of noise so you can see that so now we are going to deal another graph so you can see that uh, here are the peaks of absorbance data so first uh, again same process control d select all and uh, set column value and write the formula which is equal to 10 multiply by minus column b uh, because column b is from uh, uh, intense so here we are going to write about the formula so yes apply and then you can see that we get we got some new values so we are going to draw it so you can see that 
the absorbance graph converted into transmitters graph so firstly uh, we will uh, uh, remove the noisy data here so adjacent 15 points sorry uh, 15 points preview okay so you can see that a noisy data is all uh, is also here so we are going to again apply a smooth filter and get uh, a very minimum amount of noisy data adjacent 25 points and auto preview and then we are going to ok it so so you can see that uh, here are three values first one is black second one is uh, uh, 10 uh, 15 point and third one is 25 point so we are uh, we just choose the uh, 25 points value and change its color so now uh, we are going to change it in uh, standard form so uh, firstly uh, we rescale its uh, scales and uh, lines and titles so you can uh, choose the same or uh, with your own desire uh, here none okay so I'm going to delete it intensity value because intensity in 100% uh, values so we just uh, write its unit transmitters and its unit is percentage now we are going to change the uh, x-axis so its value is a uh, wave number so wave number and write its unit which is uh, a cent uh, per centimeter so cm and i'm going to use a sub subscript so here minus one and then again click on it and then so we can see that the graph is from uh, 50 to uh, 4500 so we are going to draw it 500 to 4000 mostly we use graph uh, from 400 to 4000 but uh, here we have data for uh, which is uh, started from 650 so we are going to change it so you can see that the graph is starting from 645 so we are going to change the scale from 600 to 4000 here so yeah now we are going to deal uh, from third graph so here its value is so you can see that uh, its absorbance data so we are going to uh, change it into transmittance so again control d or uh, use uh, uh, add new column sorry i write uh, i click on a uh, wrong button so add new column here select all and then set column value you can uh, write this uh, in f of x if you don't want to uh, set uh, uh, if you don't want to use set value then staring into minus column of b intensity value and then multiply by 100 and here the transmittance value so you can see that a noisy data is here so we are going to remove it firstly we zoom it and then a noisy data is here so we are going to remove it so noisy data is going to start from 589 so we are going to uh, delete the 589 value So you can see that now the graph is in standard form so sorry first we are going to smooth it and then we, uh, we will apply 
uh, some peak analyzer dialog box on it and then we will make uh, a standard FTIR graph so adjacent and now we have a smooth value so firstly the previous data we are going to hide it yeah now I'm going to change its color and then so here a standard data is observed so I'm going to zoom it but you can see that the peaks value are too high so I'm going to change it in some small uh, zoom ratio yeah there's a little bit change in peaks so firstly I'm going to rescale it none and and now for top no and no so here I'm going to delete the intensity value and write about the its unit and its x, uh, y axis values transmitters and percentage here now uh, I'm going to x axis value uh, change the x axis value wave number and its unit is per centimeter so we can see that uh, this data is uh, starting from 500 to 4000 so I'm not going to change the uh, intensity or oh, sorry x axis value so let's start change the title but sorry first we will uh, uh, choose uh, peak analyzer dialog box to mention some peaks and then we will change about uh, then we will change its title so find peak and then click on next again next again next so click uh, tick on enable auto find so I'm not going to uh, auto find uh, enable auto find so I'm choosing add button so uh, according to your peaks value you can add the peaks values and then click on done and then click on finish so I'm going to uh, hide the baseline values because it is not necessary so here I'm uh, writing its name so here it is a standard form of uh, uh, transmitter plot which uh, uh, which can get from our absorbance data so please subscribe our channel thanks a lot for watching Allah Hafiz